the deck. I have a list written down. I don't know how good it is, but I'll start with it. Oh, I forgot to have a folder labeled uh, Crack P9 Art. It's so funny to me. Alright. So, we'll duplicate it. Uh oh. Alright, there we go. Um, there's no strip mine in my main deck. There's none of these. None of those. Okay, we have... Okay, the way I saved this file actually is not very helpful. Time vault. But has anyone else tried the uh, smelting vat deck? I'm still curious about that one. No EW in Europe? Fair enough. I'm curious if anyone has actually tried the smelting vat deck besides Justin. Because that one's like a big question mark, question mark to me. I'll probably get around to trying it on the stream, honestly, because it like looks very interesting, you know? Bolus's Citadel. It's very hard to type. Manifold key. The hell is this manifold key from? Okay, never seen it. Uh, Pithing Needle. There's also Pithing Needle on my sideboard. Position Agent. Underworld Breach. I'm only going to play two Breaches to start with. The number might change throughout testing. Braid. Oh, Justin said it was not that good. Does, yeah, I know CFT like turned Justin on to it, but sadly. Okay, that's sad. I think that would be kind of... I might still try it just for science, like, and just waste, like, one week on it, but, you know. It is sad. I do, uh... I do take data points into consideration. I don't have, like, infinite time, you know? But, you know, good to know. Brainstorm. Brain freeze. One lightning bolt. Two Fluster Storm. Fluster Storm is like one of my least favorite cards in Vintage, but I think when it's good, it's like very, very, very good. So it's kind of hard to justify not playing the card. But I don't think it's it should be a Sacred Cow. You know. Oh, you know what? Ancestral Recall was not included in this correct P9 art file, so I was just lied to. I don't know how I missed that. Should we call Force of Will? Mystical Tutor. So the list I have is like very weirdly sorted, so I don't. I'm just gonna fill it out until something appears to be out of place, chat. And then we'll talk about it and then probably get to some games. Underground C, two underground C's and four volts. And, or three volts, actually. Three volts. Four Urza Saga and a basic island. Basic land island. I haven't played Vintage in so long, so, like, I just need to start somewhere, is the other thing. I think, like, if I just try to, like, build my own deck with no information, it's gonna end horribly, and not, like, for any real good reason, except I wanted to, like, do my own thing, which 
It probably is not the best way to go about things, you know? To Reardon. Demonic Tutor. One Wonder. Merchant Scrawl. Walk Tinker Taxian Probe. Oh, God damn it. I'm missing two cards. Now I have to figure out what two cards I'm missing, which is kind of the painful part of this. Well, I cut, I cut an opposition agent, so that's one slot. Because I think just, like, that many oppo agents in the main deck is... No, the Duke's right here. Um, I'll try the initiative cards in advantage. I will... I mean, I could, but... Oh, Pyroblast is it. Okay. It is Pyroblast. Thank you, Bart. You're right. I am missing Pyro. I'm only going to play one main deck Pyro, I think. And I have an extra slot, so that's that's what's going on there. And we'll leave, we'll leave it hanging for now while I figure out what my sideboard looks like as well, before I do anything. Tabernacle at Pendrill Vale. I also think I probably should just play a main deck Sphinx of the Steel Wind, so that's probably the other thing I should just do, honestly. So that's probably the last slot. The list I have has main uh, sideboard Sphinx, but I think it's probably just better to main deck it. Um, I don't know. That's that's what I'm thinking right now. Two Hercules recall. Yo, chat. Let's talk about how ugly these printing of Hercules recalls are. They are kind of the worst. Uh, the Void. My lines. Uh, what else? Uh, two Power Blast. A Fluster. An Alpine Moon for the Saga Mirrors, I guess. It does a lot of other small things, I feel like, as well. Let's see, four. 8, 9, 10, 11, 13, 14, 15. Sphinx is in the main deck. What am I missing? Oh, Shattering Spree. So there's like a fair amount of Shop Shopsate, but not like, not the old days where people would just have like a million artifact removal spells. This list is like a little bit more sane. There's like a small number of artifact removal spells instead. Um, What else do I want? So I have one sideboard slot open, essentially, because I moved the Sphinx to the main deck. Let's see. Let's see what else we can put there instead. By force, No. I think, like, Shattering Spree is actually generally better, but I haven't played in so long, so maybe I'm wrong. Um... Hmm. I don't like Dak Faden. Tormod script's interesting. I wonder... I wonder what the reasoning is behind playing four ley lines nowadays instead of splitting Tormod script often to one. Let me look at other lists. They seem to all have zero Tormod script. Age for Oath. Well, so... The problem, I think, with Cage generally is Cage doesn't really work in your deck with all of the ways you win, pretty much. Because if you tinker for Citadel with a Cage out, it doesn't really work. Um, also, I don't think a lot of Oath is played to begin with, right? I mean, I, I could be wrong there, but 
feel like there's very little oath nowadays. Oh, you can tinker the cage away. Oh, I guess. I'm trying to figure out why no one has caged then. I think it's just not... I'm guessing it's not good. But I obviously don't know. Hmm. There's a lot of this Demir Tinker deck, weirdly enough. Okay, I think I'll just have the third Pyroblast, even though that might be overboarding. Maybe I should just have the fourth Pyroblast and one less Fluster in my sideboard and change that sideboard slot. I'm kind of curious. Do we have any judges in the chat? Um... Remind me of Breach overrides the Exoid Jailer. I think it does, but I need a judge in the chat to remind me, if that makes sense. I, I think it overrides it, so I'm kind of interested in playing one Jailer or something like that. A very good deck. Fair. Yeah, Vintage is tough. I haven't played in so long. I'm good. There's going to be a lot of rust. Just a sec. Alright. People are complaining that this deck is clunky. So you have 17 lands. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 24 starting mana sources. A Soul Ring is like sort of a 25th mana source. You have a bunch of cantrips. I don't know. I feel like the clunkiness shouldn't be an issue, though. With that many lands slash artifact mana sources and the cantrips. Timestamp? Yeah, but I think if, if it is timestamp... If it is timestamp, I think what should happen is that... Uh, I don't really foresee me ever playing Jailer after Underworld Breach, really. So, I think the Jailer, Breach being after Jailer should basically always work, right? Black, white, Jailer, Ephemerate, Scam coming. Maybe I'll play one Jailer and one Tormod's Crypt. I don't know if that's crazy. I like Jailer a lot more than other people. I don't know. Is there a reason not to play Jailer? I guess the thing is, if Hogak or like the Root Wall deck is big, I feel like that deck isn't actually, like, Jailer's not actually very good versus that deck. It's good versus Vengevine and not versus the rest of the deck. I guess it's good versus Squee as well, but... Right. Maybe I'll do... something like this. Hex Drinker? Jesus. That means you need Lightning Bolt for that. Pretty much. Or you need to kill them with Tinker. Uh, for Sinks of the Steel End. Am I supposed to have Sideboard Strip Mine as well? Doesn't look like many people have Sideboard Strip Mine, right? Yeah, it looks like almost no one has Sideboard Strip Mine. Huh. I don't know. Just a lot of things to think about, and I don't know how to answer a lot of them, because I'm so out of... I haven't played the format in, like, literally, like... I don't even know the last time, honestly. Like, I guess... Oh, wait, my game history's gone, right? So I can't even check. I played basically only Legacy and Pioneer in the last few months. So, I don't know. Um...
Should there be a strip mine is the real question. I kind of feel like there should be, actually, but... Is that crazy? <sighs> the other thing I wanted to try was a sen second Sensei's Divining Top in the list, but maybe that's Cap. Alright. I'll throw this I like Strip Mine as a sideboard card, because I think when it's good, it's actually a lot better than people think. Like, I don't know how to describe it, really. But it, it actually does a lot more than it would appear on the surface. Okay. What's up, Dom? By the way, nice finish. Sorry you did not make top 8, but, you know. I think for you to have improved, you needed to literally make uh, the finals or win the event. I don't know. In any case, good job. We won't talk about how my RC went. Oh shoot, the cards are too much. So what can I buy realistically to get it within range? I used to have enough cards to run this deck. I know why it's over. It's because I want to use the nice looking arts, but I'll probably just like bite the bullet and make it happen. Um, let's see. Let's do some arithmetic. Let's see. So I need to get... Need to get two oppo agents and what else can I get? You didn't realize vintage was on Friday, you thought it was on Saturday? Sad. Let's see, is this within range now? Alright, so I need to get two Oppo agents and one Urza Saga. But I think I can do that. So, let's see. Let's see how much I'm going to get raked for from good bots. For these. No, that. EW has basically never done that, so obviously it sucks for people who need to work, but. Yo, what the hell? Why are operations so much? Wow, there's a saga is a lot too. Alright. Oh, I was gonna check how much the other operation is. Whatever. Not a big deal. I think I should have enough to cover basically all of it, but Oh yeah, it's the same time as Calgary, isn't it? At all. We'll get that last Hoppo agent, and then we'll head to a lead. Take one ticket. All right, cool. All right, better get those chests back, because now I literally have no chests left. Why are cards so expensive from the random sets? Chat. Alright. Alright. 
Alright, let me see if I'm missing anything anymore. Nope. Five for Hoven coming with chests. I heard they nerfed the prizes in this queue. Can someone confirm that? So I feel like people give me way too much credit. I lose so much while playing Magic on the stream. Then when when I play like a match without streaming, it feels so much easier. It's kind of insane. All right, prediction up. And thanks for being here. Going to play Grixis. Oh, they unnerfed them. Oh, I guess that makes sense with the introduction of the uh, the Q as well. All right. So prediction up. Let's head to the Vintage Wii. Oh, I see. Cool. I'll love to hear it. All right. Haven't played in literal. Well, there's 97 people. That's not very many. I haven't played in, like, literal years. Maybe one and a half years, I don't know. It's hard for me to remember. Let's see how long the wait time is. Alright. I feel like this person plays a lot of Eternal. Well, I'm never mowing this hand. Worst of the Dream Den, I think, generally means, uh... Actually, I don't know what it means, I guess, but... Nothing keeping. Sounds like kind of great. It could be Loris Breach, yeah. Okay, yeah, I think it's the Jeskai Loris Breach duck, I had to guess. My hand's pretty good, so... What else? Okay. I will cast Explore. Alright, Explore resolves. bad. That's not great, I actually think, but let's see. So, now if I find Time Vault or something else, it should be in good shape, but Tutor's good, Sushal's good. Rant about something MTG related. There's too many damn printings of cards nowadays. Okay. That's not ideal, but we have time. Oh, I should have untapped this morning. Oh, uh, you're right. No, I should have. I'm trying to find a, well, now I kind of wish I had those, um, blue sources left still, so they would have been good here, but. I'm pitching dig. I can fluster force, if they want to force. Also vaguely just tempted to just go breach in here. 
Yeah, but I mean, like, it's nice to naturally draw it. I'm not sure if I want to shuffle both back in, but I guess I sort of got paid off. Maybe it was weird not to do it. So I can go Breach, Preordain, but that's it. Probably should just say go. And wait one more turn to see if I draw something good. I think, like, if I don't use the Fluster now, it might just be dead next turn, so it's kind of awkward. But, see so what happens. Okay. Just gonna cast this. That's fine. They had to pitch Expressive Iteration. Oh, I was supposed to untap the... I think I was supposed to untap the Mox Ruby, actually. There, probably. Okay, worse into hand, but there's no... Okay, that might be a Black source, I guess. Okay. Okay, they're just guy. So I'm gonna... Probably force the Loris. Okay. So their hand is just Loris, so I'm just. I let that resolve and I force the Loris, obviously. Ancestral, Tinker, Time Vault. Yo, chat! Yo! Chat! Let's go! Okay. It's less good, but we still have time. Let's go! I will be playing Eternal Weekend Philadelphia, yeah. I might still die to Iconoclast. I don't have anything else in my hand, but I have a lot of live draws, so. Okay, that's good. Position Agent, Lightning Vault, Hitting Needle. I think that's probably good enough, actually. I should just draw the bolt and bolt immediately and hope they don't draw anything good. And then the agent can ambush that next turn. I'm playing both Legacy and Vintage, yeah. Am I down to take photos? Yeah. If you want to take a photo with me, go for it. Um, so they play strip. I'm gonna s Actually, I would rather they strip this, I think. But, let's see what they do. My plan is to block. Ending on that, probably. Yeah. It cuts off uh, Time Vault as a live draw. I own a Legacy deck? Uh, yeah, I do. I've owned a Legacy deck for a while. Some would say even for like a decade or so. Baroni, Vampire, or Hired Assassin, or pick your favorite card of this type. No, I own Vintage. Oh, they let me block? Uh, yeah, they weren't supposed to do that, but that's okay. 
We need a Mishra's Bobble, I think. Whisper Agent, yeah. I could have I could have also sandbagged it for Wasteland. Right, that's a bad draw. We can wait. This game's weirdly grindy. Okay. I was playing that out, get them. They do have a missed up in him. Back feeding. Um, didn't they literally reveal Loris? I the like Loris was their companion, so naming Dak I don't think makes a lot of sense. I'm gonna lose to Flood, maybe. I can play one out, I think, but it's okay. We've all been there. I've seen the Chalice on like an odd number versus like a Gyruda deck before. A lot of shit like that happens, so it's okay. There should be flooding out real bad. Well, fortunately, their clock is a 1-1 one, one for... It's just a 1-1, one, one, so I have a lot of time. I have a feeling these are not actually very good in the matchup, but... Okay, expressive iteration. We swim. Okay. That's bad. I mean, there's a lot of mana in the deck. I kind of feel like a lot of blue decks in this format have that problem. There's just like a lot of mana sources. Deck, Norset, and Breach. Another plow. Uh, I'm playing Grixis Tinker Breach. My opponent is Just Sky Loris Control, I think. I really don't like what's going on here. I'm probably gonna lose to this 1 1 in like five more turns from now. They're playing Mystical Tutor and they're a Loris deck? It's kind of interesting. I'm probably going to lose this dig. But that's okay. I think they're probably Breach, Loris. Or they could- well- with the Iconoclast, I think it's less likely, actually. Alright, I'm dead now. It sucks. It's kind of flooded out. I'll leave one oppo agent, but I don't really like drawing two. It's kind of clunky and not good a lot of the time. Oh, I need to cut. Uh, I need to cut that instead. Uh, like, since this steel wind is literally dead card in the matchup. It's 
pretty free to put Breach in your Jeskai control deck. To some degree, you still have to play Brain Freeze, but yeah. Anyways, thanks for everyone being here. Appreciate you all. Happy Monday after Thanksgiving. Maybe I, I will draw better this game. The Ancestral was great, and then it didn't draw me anything, so it was less good. All right, uh, I think this is a pretty easy keep. I think I'm actually going to lead with Sapphire Ponder. Yeah, we probably shouldn't F6 upon it. But are those good? Not only the Shuffle. I can wait one turn for Protected Ancestral. Well, I agree that Breach is actually a pretty good card by itself. There's no dispute there. What should I get, chat? I don't think I want to get Time Vault because I think it's too likely that doesn't work. I could just get Underworld Breach, I guess. I could just Breach Bolt and say go. I could also get Tinker, but that's like less good than getting Breach, I think. I'm just going to get Breach, but it's kind of close. I'm gonna bolt now to play around Fluster. I think it is close. Uh, I don't want to get Time Walk, but that might have been too cowardly. Sure. Okay. Spin. So, they're drawing one random card per turn. I could just wall off, wall up, and not play anything for a little bit and just stack my hand with Pyros while I find more Volks or whatever, you know? I think that might actually be good to do. Because, like, I'm not in a rush, mostly because I feel like I have the inevitability in this board state because I have a top and they're drawing a random card per turn, whereas I'm drawing, like, the best of my top three cards every turn. Want to man the Citadel? Mm, I think that's happening, realistically. Or not yet, anyways. Maybe later. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I can just stack my hand with a bunch of counters, I guess. Which is fine.
that's it anyway. Alright, it's time to breach them, I guess. Uh, trying to kill top with Rizmat Engineering doesn't work very well because you can just use it to draw a card and it goes on top of the deck. Killing the Ruby is definitely correct. I would not advise trying to kill top with Artifact Removal basically ever. It doesn't, like, <laughs> doesn't do much. Um, alright. Here we go. Alright, do I have a deterministic kill? I tutor for Lotus. I think that works. Exile Force Saga. I guess. Only Ponder can go. You get Lotus. Play the Lotus. Oh no, that. I don't know. There was probably some kill with that. Uh, probably... I don't know. I was going to figure out once they actually made me do it, but they didn't actually make me do it. Crozen Grip? Yeah, I used to play Crozen Grip in lands a long time ago for basically miracles. Draw in game one. In the draw. That's a lot. All right, game three. I'll be on the draw again. But that's okay. This is exactly fine. It's not like incredible, but I'm not mulliganing. There's not like a lot of removal in my deck. Is the problem? Gonna ship both. I don't think they're very good here. They're very awkward bolses at all. I'm gonna play this out. If they ending it, that's fine. Worse than the hand, maybe? Find Bolt. Well, Bolt doesn't even do anything. So I'm kind of in trouble, I think, if they have anything good following that. Trying to sit it on made this a lot harder to do anything productive. 
I mean, I would say brainstorm into Bolt Red Source as well. Holy fuck. I'm getting demolished. I cited out Sphinx because they're a source of Plowshares deck. I don't think you really want to do that versus a deck that has four plows. I think I say go. I might just brain freeze myself end step to try to build up graveyard, but I think I'm probably gonna lose to this like nonsense, unfortunately. I'm gonna do this instead. It's kind of a forced play. I, it's like not great, but I, think I kind of just have to do it. Okay, that's fine. All right, Doc, come on. Give me something good. Okay, I have a plan. It's for them to like cast some spells, I brain freeze, and then draw a red source and they have nothing. It's not very likely to work, but it's my plan. Super dead. Lotus Lurus Lotus is kind of nonsense, but they hit Volk, that's fine. Oh me, that's fine. I'm gonna brain freeze myself for a bunch. Hope to draw red source and for the breach to work. It's a lot of bad ones. I think this is the best course of action. Fair enough. The problem is I don't have another red source, but that was actually just a lethal breach, I think, most likely. Because I could breach Mox Mox Brain Freeze, which is a lot of cards to see the Lotus or a Tutor or something for it. But I'm probably dead now. This game also didn't go well when I drew, like, literally my bolus of Citadel. Time Vault? Okay. I don't want to draw that one anyways. Yeah, I mean, but it had to resolve, obviously. All right. Come on, deck. Second Underworld Breach deck. Come on. Come on, deck. You can do it. All right, they have one, they have one card in hand. It's Ragavan. All right, deck. Come on. That's a rebuy, I guess. Come 
Come on, Dak. Come on. Come on. Oh my god! Chat! Are you kidding, chat? <laughs> Are you kidding? It's not luck if you call it. I'm pretty sure it's still luck. White listed voted for 5 0. Fair enough. So I think I need to build the rest of my deck to kill them, but that's fine. I probably don't even. And I could just cast Brain Freeze twice and they would die. Get Vintage, opponent. Get Vintage. Alright, that looked extremely bad for me, but P with the one outer in my deck to win that game, chat. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. And if you enjoy stuff like that, you know, this is the stream for you. Hit that follow button. That's free to do. Con consider using a Twitch Prime sub. A regular sub. Well, you can't scoop in Vintage, because you can always, like, just draw Ancestral Recall and just draw the nuts. So, just... Scooping in Vintage is basically not allowed. Prison Chops was their last deck. Fine Hand versus Prison Chops, because it has a Force. I mean, obviously the... Oppo Agent's not at its best, but I'm not going to mulligan this for basically anyone. Did opponent make a mistake that game? I don't think they did, actually, but... It doesn't look like prison shops, I agree with you. I think I'm more likely to need the red, but I want to play top this turn, so I'm going to go like this. Resolved, huh? Duggars in twenty twenty two, probably not. All right. Interesting. 
So how do I want to play this? I'm kind of afraid of them powering out a lot of constructs, so... But the agent's also kind of decent. But there's not that many cards I can put back. It's also a question of what do I want to cast this turn. Alright, chat. Is it crazy for me to put the Saga back? Just Saga, Scroll, play... Pearl, play Strand, play Time Vault? How crazy is that? And keep a braid? Yeah, that's... Oh, I guess maybe I should... That's sort of crazy. Maybe I could just put both of these back. Put both of those back. Play Saga, Pearl, Time Vault. Seems kind of okay, actually. Yeah, I guess I'll do that. So I'll put the braid on top. Kind of a complicated brainstorm. They usually are, though. Okay. Let's see. Okay. So this might be good. Mana Vault. See what they do. Oh. Okay. Actually, I'm just gonna cast it now because this forces their last two cards to be force blue card. If I cast it now, if I let them untap, they can hard cast the force, the trigger in the stack. to bet that they have a manifold key in their deck. That looks good to me, chat. It's good to me. Okay, they are shops. They are blue, sh mono blue shops. Oh, they don't have manifold. Oh no, they do. It's right there. Okay, so I guess I'll take the manifold key. Tomb workshop crypt. Wonder what I got, chat. Wonder what I got. So they can attack me for five, then I win the game. Why are they playing the Crypt out? Oh, it's 6 damage, right? Saga P.O. No, this is, I guess, a new deck? I'm gonna call it Mono Blue Shops. Mono Blue Shops. It, not so good. Fluster is kind of dog shit. Pyro, weirdly good. Just kind of saying a lot. I like Hercules Recall. I like Alpine Moon because it's one sided. I like Shattering Spree. Sure, mine's okay. Pithing Eagle is okay. What don't I like? How many Pyro Blasts do I want? Is the other question. I don't really like Sphinx of the Steel One versus this type of deck. Yeah, the Oppo Agent won me the game. Imagine if it had been Hole Breacher instead, chat. Um, 
I guess it is just shave these these uh, Phyrexian mana one mana spells. They're generally not that good versus shops. Anyway. Maybe I don't even want the Pyro, it's just kind of limited in its usage. I guess I'll leave it. Like, the alternative is to have, like, Sphinx in my deck, and I think Sphinx is kind of a turd. Bolts? Oh, I should have taken a screenshot of their deck, but... Uh, no, I really should have... If they have, like, Revoker, Bolt's pretty good, otherwise it's, like, not great. I'll leave the one bolt but not tied in the second. I, I really should have screenshotted their deck when I upo agented to them to figure it out. Um it's like a reluctant keep, I feel like. This hand's like actually worse than it looks, but I think it's like mulligan this is kind of a hard justification. Bolt out, no, I like having one just in case if they have like a lodestone golem or a revoker or something, you know? My opponent's sideboard is 63 cards, so. That's, uh. Something I would generally not recommend, honestly. It's a really good draw. Right, I'm gonna play my Mox out. Okay, I'm probably going to get them with the agent again this game if I had to guess. That's a really good draw, actually. Basically, it means I can fetch for black mana. Oh, I shouldn't have fetched then, actually. that was The fetching was a mistake. Okay. Yeah, the red mox was good. Lotus would have been better, obviously, but that's okay. I mean, obviously, I'm not unhappy about this position. Okay. Right, they did not have waste, which is what I was scared of. Uh, now, I think I will needle wasteland and... It'll be fairly hard for them to come back from this. And this is a scenario where I can wait to see if they make it in their main phase. To see if that they've dismembered their sun watch so low resources that they're very likely to make the construct. Ancestral Pithing Needle. Okay, cool. Could just get Lotus in case if I draw Pulse of Citadel. They have Warm Coils, and they have Revokers, and they have a Solemn Simacrum. Let's see. They sided out the key, yeah, I noticed that, but that's okay. I don't, like... Um... I would just get Black Lotus and hope I draw a gas card, you know? I really love that their mono blue deck can't cast anything. Oh wait, did they have a... Oh no! Actually, I should have gotten 
needle, probably. Um, that's okay. I think this will probably outpace... Maybe it won't. I don't know, it's kind of complicated. Are they gonna needle my Saga? They might. They needle Saga, I think that's not good for them. Because then their, like, Saga Crucible thing doesn't do anything. Not sure. Oh, they did Needle Saga. I don't know what their plan is. That's a very funny draw. But also makes their play look a lot better. But it's okay. I will just destroy their land. And their ability to really play this game. I don't want to play this out because Hercules will return it. Like, target player owns. So if I play this out and I cast Hercules... Even if I target them, this will return it to their hand. So I don't want to cast it until I'm going to do something with it. And Revoker. Okay. That I do not care so much about. Let's see if it's divining top. That makes sense. <clears throat> Let's see what I draw. think that kills my opponent by a lot. Yo, what's up, MLX? Apparently a good one. Find a play out. Does Breach win? Probably better to draw it instead. Probably still go a little bit further, actually. It's free. It's free. One, two. So I scroll for brain freeze and storm 16 so I can mill my entire deck. Okay, my opponent didn't. So. To actually reiterate what should happen there is, I scroll for Brain Freeze, play Breach, Brain Freeze myself, and that's my entire library. So I can get Brain Freeze plus, uh, or I can get the Black Lotus in my graveyard and kill my opponent. So, but my opponent didn't want me to keep going, understandably. Okay, chat, I'm going to take a quick three minute break. Again, thanks for everyone being here. Hit that follow and that's free to do and help support the stream. If you really want to support the stream, consider using Twitch Prime sub or regular sub. We open chests for that here. 
we'll, I'll be right back in uh, three minutes. Thanks for being here. All right, I'm back everyone. Thanks for being here. Also accepting legacy donation decks in the Discord. Also check out the links in the title, Coaching, Discord, Deck Tech. And thanks for everyone being here. We're currently 2-0 with Grix's Breach. I'm only playing the paper one in Philadelphia and Lex, but uh, yeah, I guess that's a reasonable question. Thoughts on croutons? They're good in French onion soup, which I had for lunch. So there's three, four, five. Mystical brainstorm. So that should be enough for a tinker with force backup on turn one. So I'm going to keep. This person also purportedly is shops. But I think I'm not going to mog in this hand because I think that would be insane. Caesar salad, not good. 
is how I'd put it. What do I needle blind? I don't know. Do I get to see my top bird? I think I probably should just misstep it to just cycle. I'm playing Eternal Weekend next Friday. That's when it is. All right. I guess now I have to say go. I hit two lands on top, but that's okay. Appreciate the sub. Let me know if I. Well, I can't open a chest right now because I would always spend all my chests getting like nice looking cards for this deck, but if I 3, 2, or 5, oh, there will be chests to be open. Yeah, I know, Don the Mage. I will be there. Okay. So they're like fuck is this shit? Um, probably should force. Stu, are you playing both? Alright, cool. So there are Golo Shops. Blue Golo Shops. Blue Golo Shops. What's with the Golo's Blue Golo Shop deck today? I mean, I don't mind the matchup, obviously. But why... Where did it come from? Eternal Weekend would have been so great at that venue. Wow, this hand's bonkers, too. Alright, so I'm going to keep and just hope it works out. My opponent said hello in GL, Mr. Samwise. Fascinating. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Do I need to force this? I kind of do, actually. It's kind of problematic. Alright, guess I'm forcing it. I wish I didn't have to pitch Tinker, but whatever. Okay, that's fine. Next turn I can spree most of their permanents away. Let's see what happens though. So if I spree all of their mocks in, they can't make a construct. It costs me one, four, five to do that. Do I want to kill the thorn? That's the question. I'm definitely killing these three. The question is... I guess I should kill the Thorn still. Yeah. 
So now they have to draw like Ancient Tomb or something, and then I'm probably still winning the Saga race. Ooh, that was a good one to draw. I hope it's not gonna kill me, but. Revoker was exiled from Mystic Forge. Okay. Not so good this time, but that's okay. I'm gonna just play this out, make a construct say go. They're probably gonna get Pithing Needle for Urza Saga, sadly. I don't know who Danny McBride is. Should I know? They might need all my sagas, it sort of makes sense. Yeah. This makes a lot of sense to do, actually. Should probably get top and just like look for gas, honestly. Because I don't think the opposition agent is impactful enough. I need one turn. Also, I should have just... Uh, I messed up, actually. I should have just responded and untapped my top to get the free draw, but it's okay. Um, I guess just hope not to die this turn somehow. It seems unlikely, but obviously, like, if the forge is good... I could actually die, which is kind of... Well, I couldn't... They could, like, lock me out, I guess, is the better way of putting it. But let's hope that doesn't happen. Okay. Well, that doesn't do very much, fortunately, because there's a needle on Saya. They could hit second eagle. Yeah, that's true. Does it really matter? Not really. goes pretty fast. It's not even that, like, burdensome to do this. Alright, 3-0! Needle on that first needle. What's up, Chifley? It's been a while, my friend. Hope you're doing well. We're 3-0 in this Vintage League. I've played against Mono Blue Golo Shops twice. Is this, like, a, like a real thing? Well, I'm having fun playing Vintage. I've been, like, I was kind of burnt out on Pioneer after testing so much and having not a great result at the RC, so. Back to testing Legacy and Vintage for Eternal Weekend next weekend. 
Not this upcoming weekend, but the, the weekend after in Philadelphia. Uh, my plan is to play it next Friday in Paper Jadra. Please don't rob me, though. No one uh, set up an Italian job or uh, Ocean's Eleven sort of deal. I will not accept any robbery. Uh, I believe I own most of this deck. I think I might be short one Underworld Breach, funnily enough. Swindling or Hoodwinking? Or Bamboozling? I'd prefer none of those happen to me either, Chipley. Yeah, but I played played so many hours of Pioneer testing, so, you know, it feels bad to, like, spend a lot of time on something and then get a bad result, you know? Someone's named Unban Oko and Lab. Not sure I can get behind that, really. I think that card spiked because of Modern Underworld Breach is the problem, and it's kind of hard to find them now. Yeah, I know. I mean, Jeff Lee, you know me. I know my results are not me, but I also, like, I just want a good result every tournament, you know? But you know me too well. It will bother me for a bit, then I'll be fine after a few weeks, you know? We're only human? I heard I'm a robot. Beep boop, motherfucker. Beep boop. So the prizes are good again this week? Yeah, they're back to normal. Cool. Some name I can't pronounce. Last deck was Hogak. Oh, well, this hand is actually unkeepable. It has both of the tanker targets. Um, not my favorite versus Hogak, but I'm not gonna mulligan either. I think if you mulligan a hand like this, you should just not play vintage, probably. Like, turn one time walk into potentially a great turn two seems excellent to me. I don't know. Okay, so it does look like it's Hogak. Interesting that they didn't cast it during my upkeep. Right, they got Wasteland. No, the, the literal first match I played, it the first game went to like turn 15. And then game three in the first match I played, I drew my second Underworld Breach on like a grindy game, and it killed my opponent instantly, so. Uh, well, I didn't cast OAT. 
And my opponent, I assume, was afraid of it, it getting flustered, is the reason. Like, literally, Flusterstorm, I think, is the reason for them to cast it right there. Also fun, I suppose. Um, I think I'm just going to main phase this Hoppo Agent on the off chance it does something, but they might just waste that. That's fine. I would absolutely have flustered that OAT if I had been given an option to do so. Because if they're a Bizarre deck, like this, that's like some portion of Bizarre Baghdad, you know? Yeah, us playing fetch gives enough info. What's up, Fornia? Hope you're having a good one. So they're like the eight root wall deck, I think. With bazaars. Right. Did I see the mono white deck? The five vote Yeah. It was a Japanese list that actually five vote as well at a uh, or uh that made top eight of the eternal weekend. You can tell because it's missing random pieces of power, and it's very weird to look at, you know? Just gonna get Tinker. Sphinx is more reliable than Bolsus at all versus deck, because you can occasionally get killed by damage. Yeah, the I played Initiative Stompy in the Legacy Showcase yesterday as well. So it's like that, but, you know. So the thing about, the reason I got uh, Sphinx is Sphinx can beat this straw, like, just by attacking my opponent a bunch of times, you know. Oh, with a Hogak? No, I think I still win the race, actually. But it's kind of close, I guess. Yeah, faster. Faster as well. Okay. Oh, last card's Wasteland. It's fine. I mean, I'm at 22. They can only attack with this, really. I also have this to block with. So if they attack with that, I can just double block there. I'll be at 30. So I think just basically the Sphinx is good enough. You know? Hello, Gak, indeed. Two more Ru Allas. So if I double block that, I go to 30, I take 17 plus 3, that's 20. If I block hollow one and that, I take 8 plus 12, that's 20. If I 3, I'll be at 10. Do I actually need to draw something to win? That's kind of insane if that's the case. They can also gain two life, but I don't think that matters. Okay, I think it's actually better to block those two. I could have double blocked there, but I don't think that's actually good. Uh, they don't have black mana for the death rate. So I think I actually... I'll be at 14. I can block there. So I need to draw a creature. So I actually think I die. But maybe they'll mess it up somehow. Kind of insane that this was not good enough. But 
you know, that's the power of Bizarre Baghdad, I suppose. A Dried Arbor in my Grixis deck? Probably not. Probably not. Vengevine with Agent? I don't think so, because there's a chance that they could just get it back this turn. Right. Block here. I die. Let's see. And Tinker away the Arbor? How? Whoa, I'm at two. Oh, you can't. No, they're one in a green. If it had been two blazing root wallas, actually, it would have been. Okay. I actually won because I killed the blazing root walla, I think. Which is kind of, kind of crazy to think about. Cabo Asians kind of dog shit for some, actually. Although, like, obviously having a creature that game was helpful. I actually think Leyline is probably a trap, honestly. But... Who can say for sure? Maybe that's just, like, kind of insane to think that way, you know? I guess I'll have them in, but I'm not a huge fan, honestly. I don't think you want Ensnaring Bridge versus the Force of Vigor deck, really. Like, I don't think that's how the games play out. Fluster counters Force of Vigor, which I think is, like, kind of a big deal. Uh, actually, I guess I should look at a Hog Hogak Vine deck. I haven't seen one in a while. No, this person only has Mind Break Traps. Oh no, the Fobs are in the main. I see. Okay. Uh, yeah, Needle's also good. I'm just thinking. I might side out Vault Key, actually. Maybe cut, like, a Preordain? Cut the Preordains. And I might have one Hercules to deal with multiple Hall ones, although that's like kind of not a great way to, to go about things. So the Alpine Mine's okay. It's been a while, I'm very rusty. Uh Narset, if you get it on the play versus them, is actually pretty good. And this hand's really bad. Like, well, if I were not versus Hogak, I would probably keep this hand, but. Uh, I guess this is what I sign up for. If you're mulling this hand, I think you probably shouldn't play this deck in this matchup. I'm gonna bin Academy, though. Plans to just Needle Bazaar. I don't want to force that. Probably not, even though, like, it's kind of worth some portion of Bazaar. Casting your upkeep is kind of weird, though. Like, now it... I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter, but... All one in hand, huh? You have the bazaar? Don't. Okay. Okay. I think I am gonna let them waste me. I'm 
I'm still naming Bizarre. Naming Wasteland's a trap. If they're only doing this though, like, I don't think it can really harm me too much. Did I? I'm playing Tinker. So. I'm just gonna play this in Seiko. In the Hogak deck, I was told that you can keep more hands that don't have Bazaar in them, but I'm still somewhat skeptical of that. You broke, broke up with Tinker? Well, I'm not breaking up with Tinker, so, you know. I'm just gonna cast it. Probably gonna strip my Volk. So I was thinking of. I could have actually kept the. Uh, whatchamacallit? I could have kept the Saga and just played that turn and seen if they stripped it. But I kind of wonder. Let's see, Adrian. And fine. I want to force that. Scroll Soul Guide. Say go. They'll kill that, that's fine. If I need to force something, I can. Do they have two root walls to bring back their Vengevine? I guess they do, sadly. I think I just need to, like, step on the gas. That was very bad. Alright, let's take go. I'm probably gonna lose now. Drawing Sphinx is extremely bad. I guess I could have Merchant Scrolled for... for Mystical, and then Mystical for Tinker, but that loses to a Boseju outright. And I think my opponent has a bunch of Bosages post board, so I don't love it. But so it kind of looks like I'm going to get like killed. But maybe not. So they can drain for two, that puts me to six. So I don't really have an out, I think, right? Okay. 
I guess I can cast this first and see what they do. Kind of a force play, unfortunately, but... This is just basically a four mana time walk. And I'll crack this to draw a card because I'm kind of in emergency mode to win the game. Mm -hmm. See if this works. I don't think it will. So I can bolt Vengevine on their combat. Then what am I drawing to? Black source for tutor for breach. That doesn't work. It's probably my ancestral's gone. So how does this work? So I have to bolt the bench my next combat. I'll be at basically effectively one. So I probably just have to take this and hope. My walk is gone. Oh, maybe I have to take a braid. Huh. Take the mana? Yes, I'm not sure. This is like pretty a dire. I also am not allowed to cast this force of all anymore because I'm actually dead. I guess maybe they'll kill the Narset instead. Brainstorm into Tinker. Well, the thing I can Tinker for is here. And I think Deathrite kills me, right? They might try to attack me to death, though. Okay. Okay, so this has to be a good one. I think basically I have to get super lucky to win. That's okay. Ooh, that's a good start actually. All right. Dig's gone, my ancestral's gone. So tutor. What what can I even tutor for that does anything? I guess I'll still cast it. But I don't want to like pull the trigger on the mana crypt yet until I'm sure I actually need to play it. Get breach. What does breach do? Breach just cycles a time walk again. And then can't kill them. Oh, but I have a bolt. Wait, but no, that 
Then what's my out? I, there's still a root wall in play. Well, my brainstorm's exiled, so that's difficult. So just breach time lock? Is that really the best I can do? What does Tabernacle do? They have a bunch of mana sources, right? If I bolt the death right, I'll go to one when they fetch a black source, right? I don't know what the tab does. I don't think it does anything, right? Breach and double bolt. How do I bolt twice? I only have one red source. Obviously, if I could... If I could breach double bolt, that would work. Uh, yeah, that's okay, Kane. I'm just... I was wondering if I was missing something. It looks like I'm kind of dead, though. I think I do have to get breached, though, and hope it works out. I don't think it can work out, though. I think it just doesn't, it literally doesn't work. Also, it doesn't work if they just exile the time walk. By the way. Which is, like, very clearly on board. Okay. Cool. I don't think I could win that game, really. Okay. Um... What's my basic, favorite basic land art? Uh, the APAC clans. And my favorite... Uh, yes, I do a P9 IRL. Oh, this one's pretty good, though. Alright, gonna keep. Maybe. I don't know. It, that game was, like, super weird and complicated, so... How do I feel about the 30th? 30th what? That's fine. Let's see, Drew. Okay. They've already used their strip so the island's safe. Oh, the 30th set? I have no opinion on it. I don't I don't want to get into that. I'll just let people if people want to buy it, that's their prerogative, you know. I'll spend now. I worried about my investments. I don't understand that question, I guess. Yeah, I, that's why I didn't really... Oh, I see. People think I'm an investor. No, I just own stuff because I like owning it. I don't know. I guess that's, like, kind of weird. Who knows? I don't know and I don't care. <laughs> Is my actual answer. 
I, 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 I literally don't know or care. As someone who used to be super utilitarian all the time, I'm no longer really that way. So do I want to take three damage? Not really. I think I'm just going to kill that Rue all off and shuffle my top away. That's awesome, Don the Mage. If it makes you happy, it makes me happy. I mean, I feel like that's the most utilitarian take possible. Does this do anything? I guess I could bolt, fetch, C, play, dig through time, which I guess I'm gonna do. If they have a pyro, it kind of sucks, but I don't think that deck really plays pyroblast very often. It would be difficult for it to do so, I feel like. So I could take... Merchant Scroll Ruby, or I could take Brain Freeze to go with that and the Ruby. Then I would have to find Lotus. I could also take Saga Freeze, which is probably better to do, actually. Okay, I figured it out. Saga Freeze it is. Because this is like Suspend to uh, Black Lotus. So fucking dig through time, what a magic card, holy shit. Can you all think about the fact that this is legal in Pioneer and it's really not that good? Just like think about it, chat. Oh. I know there are no fetches, but it's still good. Like, trust me, it's still like it's really close to being a good enough magic card. The reason Inverter was so good is it was an insane dig through time deck. Uh, I think I'm going to get C, actually. So they're down... How many Boseju does this deck play? Two? They're down one. I'm just gonna play this in Sego. Like, Fob is not even that insane right now. Just kinda need to draw like a gas card or something. My both of my bolts are gone though. Just kinda of problematic. Oh, this is a Vengevine? Alright, that's the second Boseju accounted for. Oh. I think I'm just gonna pop the Soul Guide. No reason to pop it now, really, I think, but at their end step, I guess, if in case I draw a vamp or something. Deck, come on. Don't, don't fucking do this to me. I can't believe I drew the fucking Sphinx of the Steel End. Say go again and see if they draw something good. Deck hates me. I mean, I'm not I'm not out of it. I think they're gonna cast yeah, so I have to win this turn now. This is sort of fine. I think I'm just gonna brain freeze myself, then cast Mystical and step and hope to spike. Oh wait, I can put Mystical on this attack in response.
I can. Yeah, that's probably the play. All right. What priority? So, tutor for Lotus win. Hope nothing goes wrong. Is there anything better I can do? Doesn't look like it. Alright, very well. Wait, I can tutor for a force and still win, right? For tutor for a force, I can breach into tutor lotus brain freeze, right? Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. Yeah, I think I can, actually. I think I have just enough resources for that to work. Oh, I could also just get fluster. Does the mana matter? Oh, the mana does matter. So I should just get force of well. And they only have three cards, so I don't have to worry about double force of vigor. Like it works to me. Swings of the steel one. I literally have a blue card in my hand. Wow, that was... That's how it is. Underworld Breach, chat. Alright. Uh, Hogak... Was I to play this match? I don't even remember. It was. There's probably a reason I won. I won that insane game one where, like... A Tinker vs. Sinks one was almost not good enough. 4-0? I haven't played this for in freaking forever, chat. So, thanks for everyone being here. If you want to support the stream, hit that follow button. That's free to do. If you really want to support the stream, consider using a Twitch Prime sub here or a regular sub. All the support's appreciated. And we will open chests for every sub. Because I will be guaranteed to have chests. Uh, so, Gwyn Boy Eid, I will open a chest for you after this. After this thing. Yeah, sometimes you're the Vintager, and sometimes you're the Vintagey. Should I start a league with the Smelting Vat deck? Probably not. So far, the deck does not feel too clunky, despite what people say in the Vintage Discord. Yes, please? Alright, well, I probably can't finish the whole thing, but I'll... I'll consider starting it, at least Kane. I don't know, I'm just here for vibes. You know how it'd be, chat. You know how it'd be. Problem I have nowadays is I'm not satisfied to play ordinary decks for like a bunch of leagues in a row anymore. I get just, I kind of just get too bored. Does that make sense? You're still here waiting for me to get a cat. Oh, I'm sorry, Gabby. It's probably not gonna happen. PT <laughs> fire? Dredge, huh? Well, this hand's kind of insane, honestly. This is a cat gang stream? I mean, not generally, but... Oh, this is definitely a dredge opponent. I can smell it. So I need to find fast mana. Serum powder. Powder. Three. 
Did they find the bazaar yet? One card, chat. Opponent's going to one card. <laughs> I didn't even do anything, chat. Chat, look at this. We're playing the Mulligan Simulator on the other side. <laughs> what? <laughs> also, <laughs> all right. I, I don't know. It's just like, why? Why does this not just happen? Vintage noises, indeed. Yeah, it's just, I don't know. Uh, let's see, it all can go. Lightning Bolt was good versus this version. Tabernacle, Strip Mine, Pithing Needle, Soul Guide. Oh, Side Out, Vault Key. Is this like. The games are not about Vault Key. Like, let's be clear. Um. Shouldn't have wasted my good hand. Okay, okay, Adam. Okay, tough guy. That's not how it works, and you, you know that. Tough guy Raggy D over here. Do I want more Pyros for Stretch? They have like a million forces, if I recall correctly. Yeah, they have like six forces. They probably get an eight. Oppo Agent's dog shit, though. Uh, I killed them. I killed them, Wonder Pro. That's what happened. They literally died. They're Dredge. We saw uh, Dawn the Mage. They showed us cards from Serum Powder. So we know they're Dredge. And yeah. Uh, I guess I can, like, cut. Let's see. Buster's better than Pyro. So I guess I'll have two Fluster, two Pyro then. Just call it a day. You could make a case for cutting Narset because it actually doesn't work. Like, they can dredge through Narset, weirdly enough. This is not that weird, but. Anyways, chat, I'm really glad to have you all here. It's been a long time since I've played Vintage, honestly. It's like. I would say it's like riding a bike, but... Alright, well, I'm keeping. Cutting Norse head. Kane, am I washed or are you washed? Or are we both washed? Is this hair powdered? Down to five. Both? I guess. I guess that's fair. Norset is washed. Is Norset washed, chat? Oh, I don't like that. It's also why I don't really like Hyper Mulligan Ingress Stretch because of grief nowadays. Okay, well. They'll have one card in hand, and I'll strip. Okay, I just think we don't. It is known reminds me of some gold Ducat shit. And I cast this. Because I can tinker for Sphinx and see if it's good enough. Let's go. Pirate hit keeps the PO away. Does it? Two chills. 
So, do they still play Bridge from Below? Oh, they have a second Bazaar? Yeah, I'm probably dead then. Maybe I'm not dead, actually. Do I have lethal? How would I have lethal? Mystical for DT upkeep? Oh! Mystical, demonic... Wait, hold on. So I have to spend this. So I'll have... Use black, black. So I'll have five. Oh, I guess that works. Um... Too small brained, I guess. Alright, I guess I'll do that. Do you have lethal? The answer was yes. I just didn't see it, which is kind of a problem. But, you know. Okay, and that's very reductive. Boom, chat. The actual chat lethal. Perhaps reduction was the law? Well, you got me, I guess. Alright, easy 5-0. It's been years since I've played Vintage. Jarvis clap, chat. Thanks for everyone being here. Every card was perfect in the deck. I will not be changing any cards. That might be a lie. But we will open a chest for the one sub so far. Dorman Komazoa. Not the guilt leaf. A great story about this one, where I uh, gave a friend of mine 40 of these to sell because we also use them as Bitter Blossom tokens for some reason. Don't ask. I don't know why we use them as Bitter Blossom tokens. I don't have any stories about Nath, except it's kind of a sweet card. Uh, yeah, so that's Grixis Tinker, 5-0, and uh, I guess we'll try the Smelting Vat deck next. I really need to use the bathroom, though. So, I'll be right back one second. <laughs> 